Hola gang and welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. <clears throat> Found something to drink over at the store. A limited time item. This is Berries and Cream RC Cola. Yeah! One thing that I'm finding about living down here in the south, down in Florida, is that I'm finding a lot of sodas that aren't readily available back in the Pacific Northwest, like RC, uh, Fresca, um, Mellow Yellow, and, and a few others. So anyway, like I said, this is a limited time flavor, RC Berries and Cream Royal Crown Cola, established in 1905. That's around when I was born. And this is a 16 ounce can. Okay, so I got a glass to pour it in. I always like sodas in glass bottles. Glass bottles just make it taste a lot better. I'm not that much of a can guy, not at all really. Okay, so this looks like regular RC Cola. Hold it up here, you can see the carbonation going on, all the bubbly bubblies going on. It has a, a berry smell to it. All right, so looks the same, smells different. Let's give it a shot. Do it again. It does have a berry flavor to it. I'm trying to place the berry. It's really hard to distinguish exactly what it is. And then it's got that cream soda type of thing going on. Um, I mean, like, like any other cream soda flavored uh, soda pop. So unlike the marshmallow Coke, which was more of a fruit drink, this is actually a flavored cola, which I like better. If you've never had it, RC is, it's less sweet than Pepsi and it doesn't have the, the, the punch, the harshness of a Coke. So it's, it's definitely its own animal here. And RC was something that I grew up on back when I used to visit my relatives in Idaho. That's pretty much all they drank was RC Cola. Um, and then this, you know, with the berry flavor and the cream soda thing happening, um, yeah, I like it. All right, so I did pick this up over at Dollar General. I'm looking for the damage and I can't find it. Dollar General, the damage on this puppy here, oh, excuse me, got some burping going on, so it's definitely the carbonation coming through, was only a dollar. <coughs> So that's pretty decent for a can. Usually a can of pop like this will run you like upwards close to $2 or over $2, which is absolutely ridiculous. But I think a dollar is okay for that. On the Nerdometer, I would give a that puppa there. Um, I think I would give this, I think I would give this a middle of the road, I like it. Yeah. it. It isn't anything that really blows me away, uh, but it is tasty. Um, I don't particularly think that I'd head to the store to get it again, but if it was there and I was in the mood for a berry and a cream soda, yeah, I'd pick it up, sure. So. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much for spending time with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we're live streaming again over on Twitch Mondays and Saturdays right now from 12 noon to 2 p.m. Central. Drinking coffee, chatting it up, playing Dinkum right now, which is a fun Animal Crossing type of Australian outback game. You got to be there. It's cute. Anyway, love to have you over there. Um, and all the groovy nerdy links are down below in the description. So if you want to check those out, that's great. And if you do all that, you too can become a part of the Berries and Cream RC.
old nerd crony community. Okay, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye. Yeah. 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 Yeah.